A very good morning to everybody. Sunday the 20th of October 2019 and you join me for my Sunday review. We are overlooking the North Pier and I can show you the beach and the sea. Thank you to everybody who watches these videos. I want to thank every single person who watches them very very much indeed. Now this Sunday review today the first thing that I have to show you and explain to you is that as you know on Friday saw the opening of the new Corporation Street with the buses. Now that was on Friday now when I came in on Saturday there was a change a very very important change which is the first thing I'm going to show you and then after that we will visit all our usual venues so I'm going to close up now this introduction thanking everybody again and proceed with the video and I do hope you enjoy it I would like to start my explanation from here looking straight towards a number 14 bus which is now outside the council offices there's the council offices there and I'm going to show you the bus stop that I showed on Friday what's happened is what's happened is the number 14 is going to stop here start and stop here and the number 6 is now going to start where the 14 did so from this stop here we now have the 14 18 and the 19 now I'm going to continue my walk down to the end of Corporation Street there's a number 18 there just pulled in now if I can explain simply why that change had to be made the bus the 14 bus is very very long and what was happening was from the actual first day when a number 14 arrived with one already parked there was not enough room for it to stop and the driver had to go right round the block so something had to be done and it was done they have simply moved the 6 and the 14 about and as you can see there is much more room here for the very large 14 there it is parked up there and there's quite a considerable amount of ground here taking into account the 18 is there as well so if a number 14 was to pull in as well there would not be a problem you see what what everybody must remember is that the 14 operates six an hour so every now and again there's going to be two of them at this bus stop now here we are we at the bay now with four actual bus shelters so this is the number seven bus stop approaching the number five That's the second bus stop number five and in front now you will see the number nine and approaching now the second change obviously this is the fourth bus stop down here and this is where the number six will start from I'll just show you it's I think I think I can show you now now 
there's the bus stop sign there with the bus shelter and as you can see as I showed in my video on Friday this was supposed to be the bus stop for number 14 however as you can see there was no room for another 14 to arrive which it will do if they're running six an hour look that's where the first number 14 stopped there and there's no room for it to park so it was quickly altered after obviously the office received reports from all the drivers so now the number six will start here because it's a smaller bus I think obviously otherwise they wouldn't have changed it it's a it's a smaller bus now I'll quickly I'll quickly add the signs have not been changed yet it still says 14 to Fleetwood well let's hope that it can be changed tomorrow morning first thing as it would be confusing to anybody who's watched my video with a look right along Corporation Street that concludes our visit and the explanation of the change so we're going to now proceed to our next venue and I will see you there and here we are we have arrived at our next venue Deansgate and we're going to walk up here and then branch off into Edward Street a lot has happened here over the last two or three days along here and I can see this morning oh this is very interesting Sunday morning I can see this morning that right at the end there's contractors here at work now this is what's happened two or three days ago the road has received its first layer of tarmac you can see that right in front of you with all the nice curbing either side of the road it goes right the length of the road and we are approaching now the contractors who are attending to this area I'm going to show you this morning and across the road is the Washington public house just to let you know where we are very good morning good morning good morning <laughs> There we are. Well, that was a nice, pleasant surprise. The work you see taking place is for an actual gas pipe. All that work you see here, right the way down, is for an actual, actual gas pipe. Now we're going to walk down the reverse side now. I've crossed over and there's the usual shops that we see and that's the side we have just walked over
making our way down now oh now what's happened is they've had to seal this area up so what I'll have to do is I'll have to to go back and walk right the way round so as I can get into Edward Street I'll see you back there Ah, oh, we are now at the other entrance of Edward Street. There's the rear of Abingdon Street Market and we are now just going to start our walk down Edward Street. Marvellous progress down here. There's the lovely pavement tiles across the road, all completed and the road awaiting the return of the tarmac company to finish off the job. Well, this is going to look nice. Lots of barriers put over the other side, which you haven't seen, I don't think. What's happening is, I've just got to have a look at something. Yes, I think what's going to happen is, they hope to, the side that we are walking down, I believe that they hope to extend the pavement further out to meet the, to meet the road here and they're going to make it possible I believe for the pedestrians to use the other side of the road all this has just just taken place maybe two days two two, two days ago Oh, this is the completed lay-by just to show you where we are look that's the rear of the post office the old post office and again we've come to an area now which has been all fenced off so I can't get through there not that I really want to So yes, as you can see, marvellous progress from the two roads that we've just walked down. So that's our visit to Edward Street and see the big gas pipe all being laid at the other road, which joins this one on a Sunday even so they're going all out to complete this as soon as possible and one I would say that within two weekends time not counting this one I'd say in two weeks time this may all be finished Edward Street side Edward Street side I would say two weekends time this may well be finished So I'm going to close the camcorder down now and we'll move on to our next venue. Welcome back and our next venue is Talbot Road. We're right opposite Wilco's now. Now I'd just like to quickly explain there were two snagging areas here and they've all been attended to. The first one, which I believe I've already showed just the once, but I'd like to go over it again. Outside Markelly's, which is right opposite Wilco's, there was an area there that needed to be attended to, and it has been. 
the necessary OLEC is now installed. It was installed about one week ago, overnight and in the early part of the morning. There we are, the very thick black OLEC post. So that, that little piece of snagging has been attended to. Now I'm going to keep the camcorder on because we've just got to walk a little distance so I'm going to keep the camcorder on as I haven't walked down here with it on for a good while. There's just one more snagging area which has received a lot of attention over the last three or four days. There's all the shops across the road. Abingdon Street Junction we're coming to now. Just go to my left and you're going to see the Victoria pub. There we are. Now coming to the area that has needed attention for quite a while and that is the area right outside the church. So I'm just going to cross the road to show you what has happened this past week. All this has been attended to this past week. All the barriers up here again and yes now this is the first area here and you can see the metal frame cage along the pavement area just simply now awaiting whatever they're going to use, whether it be concrete or tarmac, I don't know what they're going to fill it with, but that's all it's waiting for now. The work has been attended to. And there's a little pavement area next door to it with the giant thick OLEC post. You can see the second area with exactly the same setup, just waiting now for it to be filled with whatever substance they use. So that's the two areas of snagging that has been resolved along Talbot Road. Now that's rather useful and handy to myself as that allows me to show you across the road our next venue which is the Premier Inn. And we are now looking at the front of the hotel and restaurant. I'm just going to show you on my left just so as you know where we are. That's the area that we were, I showed you the snagging there and also the church. If I return to where I was showing you, this is the front of the Premier Inn. The entrance to the hotel and the restaurant. And hopefully, hopefully you can see 
all the vast progress made. Lots of areas with that sandstone. Very prominent now, very prominent indeed, along with the facing bricks. That is how it's going to look. That is the actual finish. Sandstone and those facing bricks. just going to turn around to show you where I've just come from now that curb there is very very steep the reason is that is going to be the tram stop when the trams start to run up here this is the only tram stop that will be here and the tram doors open up quite high so they've had to do the curb very high so if you come down here please please be very careful because it's a steep drop returning now to the side view of the premier inn and i would like to show you that the last week has met with the loading bay area can you see that loading bay area right in front of you that has been extended and this part here that I'm just going to show you I was explained this is just a safety area as you can see people will be walking walking under all the scaffold here so they put this safety area up we are now looking at the rear of the Premier Inn this is the rear we've just walked along from the side elevation and this is the rear of the hotel We are across the road now and I can show you all the vast amount of work with the facing bricks and the sandstone. That's quite a nice finish that, it looks really good. Just going to cross the road back now. simply turn around and with a view of the rear of this hotel we will finish our visit here this morning to the Premier Inn on this marvellous morning in Blackpool we arrive at our last venue which is the Sands Venue Resort Hotel and amazing progress this week can be seen this is the first of the two sides that we will be visiting
all completely now virtually opened up A virtual clear view from one side to the other now. A very, very peaceful looking sight today on this Sunday. But however, tomorrow everything will be back as usual and there will be so much going on because the progress here now from week to week is colossal every week every day progress is being made I'm just going to turn the corner now so as I can show you the rear view you may like to see this view a view from the side to the rear <coughs> we are now at the rear with a full-on view of this in the future virtually a 100 roomed five-star hotel the only one on the promenade just short of 100 five-star rooms with a museum on one of the floors here And this is our usual view from the rear looking to the front. Now this takes us to the second side. Now this side is right next door to the amusement arcade and this is this part of the video will be a voiceover as the arcade is playing loud music and I would have picked it up on the microphone I hope that views of this side will show the rapid progress of this build as you can see straight in front of you now we now have windows. Yes, windows can be seen virtually all along this side. We will move along now to the front. We are round the front now and first of all I will show you our usual view from the front to the rear right next to the side elevation of the second side
just crossed the road to show you a full view of the front of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. And with this view, we will finish up our visit here. On this marvellous morning in Blackpool, I am with the donkeys on Blackpool Beach. And it is from here that I would like to close up this video. Firstly, thanking everybody who watches these videos very very much indeed and what you have seen this morning on this video was actually filmed as usual on the Sunday morning this Sunday morning so I'm going to go home now and edit this and upload it to YouTube so from a marvellous glorious morning on Blackpool Beach and the Donkeys. We all wish you a marvellous day and bye-bye. Goodbye to you.